Hello and welcome. You're listening to Utilities Energy Matters podcast. My name is Martin Long. And my name's James Rose, and it's here we speak to people across the business to give you more information about the energy matters that matter to you. Yes, and we're here to answer your questions, the things you ask us about the most, and anything we think you should know about too. This is Energy Matters podcast number two, and we're asking the question, what can Utilita do to help me if I'm off supply? That's why we're going to speak with Sasha Dixon, who's been with the business for many years. She started out on the phones in customer service, but today she heads up our extra care team. Hello, Sasha. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. So let's say I'm a customer. I've gone off supply. It's the first time it's ever happened. What should I do? The most important thing to do is let us know. There is absolutely no need to stay at home with no power and panic. There's so many ways in which you can get in contact with us. You may not need to speak to us. You could go on our website or the app or look at the frequently answered questions or watch the videos and this may help you. Um, You mentioned the app in there. Is that Utilitas Award winning app, Sasha? (laughs) Indeed it is. We have a chatbot feature on the website. It pops up and means you can just type in your questions in there and get quick replies. If you're on social media, we have a team who can help you on there. Facebook's the main one, but we also have Twitter. Or if you live near one of our utility energy hubs, you could even pop in and see someone face to face. But then, of course, you can always call us. Plenty of options there, isn't there? So uh, if I call you on the phone and my supply has gone off, what exactly can the team do to help me? So the most important thing is we need to establish why the supply is off. It might be something as simple as you've topped up and it just hasn't gone down to the meter yet, which has shut your supply off. It may be that you just need to press a button on your meter to bring it back on, or if it's been off and you've topped up into positive credit, you just need to tell the meter it needs to come back on. So we'd ask you to go to your meter and press a couple of buttons. We'll tell you to press AAB to get the supply back on. The other thing to check is if you have emergency credit to use, sometimes it might just be that you haven't activated it. We give you up to £15 emergency credit just in case you ever need to borrow some, but you need to give your permission to use it. So if you don't activate it in time on your in-home display, when it gives you an alert, you might need to go and do this to the meter itself. By pressing seven, if it's available, you then just have to press A to accept it. It also sometimes can be, it's got absolutely nothing to do with your meter or the credit. It may just be that you need to check the trip switches or your boiler, or it might be a power cut in your area, but we can always advise you on that. Um, But what happens if I've run out of credit and I don't have any money to top up until next week? uh, when I get paid or get my benefits, um, you know, times are tough for everyone, particularly if you've had, you know, something unexpected happen, you know, can you chill to help? What, What can we do in this type of instance, Sasha? Yeah, of course we can help. And we really understand it's not always possible to be able to afford to top up. Maybe, as you said, you're waiting for payday. Uh, There's so much uncertainty at the moment during the pandemic and lots of situations may pop up that you have no control of and you're not able to borrow any money and you might feel really stuck and worried about it. So this is why we offer advanced credit, which is a top up on your meter. So you can get up to £50 across both meters and it's really easy to do on our app. We call this feature power up. You just choose how much credit you want in advance and it will go to your meter. Thanks, Sasha. And and just to confirm, you talk about £50. That works out as a maximum of £30 on gas and £20 on electric, isn't it, Sasha? Absolutely. The good news for everyone, there's, there's no interest, is there? Absolutely. So you just pay it back through your future top ups so you can set it from 10% if you want to pay it off over a longer period or if you're getting paid tomorrow then you can just set it at 100% and pay it all back at once. Right so that's all done through the app but you can do it over the phone as well if you don't have access to the app? 
absolutely yes this is what my team the extra care team do and this is done over the phone but it's much quicker and easier if you have the app yeah. our phone lines can get really busy at certain times so if you have a smartphone make sure you download the app and you can get yourself back on supply really quickly with the power up and how often can you use the power up? You can use it as many times as you like, as long as the previous debt is repaid back. And so you mentioned there the extra care team. What is it that your team will do then? What's a bit of history on the team? Okay, so extra care was originally set up because we were finding lots of customers were calling in who were unable to top up for an absolute massive variety of reasons. So we needed a better way to support customers in need with extra help. So that's why we created extra care. So, you know, do all suppliers, uh, uh, energy suppliers have to have an extra care team? Yeah, I think we were probably the first, but I just hope other energy suppliers have something in place but whether or not it's specifically dedicated as our team, I don't know. So it's more than just financial assistance, isn't it? We are able to support customers where they may have priority service needs. So we have the priority service register, which means we will record anything on their account that may be considered as a vulnerability or medical issues, or if there's limited mobility or anything like that. So when the customer calls back for whatever reason, if anyone dealing with that account, they will be aware of the specific needs that the customer may have and can provide extra help if and when required. It can also result in anything up to marking an account as DNOS. That means do not offer supply. So, so Go on, Mark. I don't mind. Go on. Uh, probably the same question there. So what, what's, what does that mean exactly? Do not offer supply? So if any member of utility staff is concerned about a customer, so say there's a stair lift, electric bed or something like that, we need to make sure that their electric is always on. We get a member of my team, Extra Care, to proactively call the customer to discuss this situation. It may be that we can do what we call a meter mode switch. So we actually switch their smart meter from pay as you go to credit. So instead of paying in advance, they pay a bill. And we've phoned them to discuss the best ways of making these payments. And, and what happens if someone doesn't want to change from pay as you go? Uh, but, you know, they, they want to stay on that because it's great for budgeting and, and they won't want to risk you know, bills building up. Um, I mean, can they do that, Sasha? Of course. For these DLOS customers, what we do is we rem remotely check their meters twice a day to see if their supply is still on. And if there's any issue, we will get in contact with them straight away to help. Uh, so that'd be very reassuring for some people then. And it wouldn't just be the individual customers, but it's their friends and family members too. So, you know, they might need extra help looking after these people. And that's something that we can offer. Yeah, exactly that. We can also put those family members as a point of contact on the account so we could let them know if the supply has gone off so they can get that resolved. We've set this up as a company ourselves and we've invested money in it. And we have one very valued member of our team, a lovely man called Nigel, and this is his job all day, every day to make sure that the do not off supply customers are all on supply. And ju just just to make things uh, clear here, Sasha, for anyone listening in, um, to get on the priority services register, do they have to inform us of, you know, their their vulnerabilities? Because we we won't necessarily know unless we're told, will we, Sasha? Absolutely not. No, unfortunately, vulnerabilities aren't taken across supplier at the moment. It's just really important that they let us know. But say someone wants to wants to do it via social media, would they just put their name and customer number and, and, and say that uh, maybe just for you know a temporary period they might have you know injured their leg or something. Yeah. And you just need to provide your name and your postcode and house number and then we can pass data protection with you and then we will always have 
the access to your account number. Oh, brilliant. So, so it's nice and simple. That's the moment. Really simple. So we are, have always been a really forward thinking company and I see it as part of my team's job to listen to customers and learn what their needs are and then we adapt to them and with the technology that's available we just want to use it to help customers who are in need the most in any way we can really that's brilliant well thank you very much for joining us on the podcast it's been a pleasure that was energy matters thank you for listening and if you ever need us the best place to start is online at utilita.co.uk And remember, if you haven't already, make sure you download our award-winning MyUtilita app and control your energy anywhere, anytime, available from the App Store and Google Play. All information was correct at time of recording.